Hello and welcome to the 15th tutorial of SMCP playing God of War on Give Me God of War difficulty. We are here on the third installment of the Wayward Spirit quest line, uh, the favour of unfinished business. As you can see, as soon as you get onto the island, you have a Draga and a Heavy Draga to deal with. Please come over very fast and deal with that normal Draga as soon as possible because the Heavy Draga will be coming over. Uh, now, I do make a mistake in a minute. I used one of my powers when I shouldn't. I should save Hell's Touch there. You see L1 and R1 is still lit up. I made another mistake by getting hit by that. Um, but then I use it here, stupidly, and now I give him a chance. So if he wants to level up to level 4, he can do without me being able to interrupt him. And of course, that's exactly what he does in a minute. So of course, with the Heavy Draga, when they're this big, all you have to do is dodge and make sure that you um, stay out of the way of his moves. It's a very simple fight to do, but it takes a little while to get used to the timing. Just practice this guy um, and you'll be fine. Uh, this is just getting onto the island itself. This is not actually the fight for the Brazier. The Brazier will come after this. So we'll just watch this out until the end, just so you can see that I did manage to finish this guy off. Um, the reason that I show every fight in the game is just so if you're having any difficulty you can see exactly how to do it for yourself. As you can see my axe has got ice now and I've slowed him down because of the uh, perk that I have. I can't remember the name of it, um, it makes your uh, axe get ice damage the more consecutive hits you get without being hit before. Okay, cool. So that's how you do that first fight when you get onto the island. Here is the island itself, the Forgotten Cavern, just so you know exactly where I am. Um, so Just so you know exactly how to get here too. So this is the third fight in the Wayward Spirit. Okay, so now we're going to go down and this is the actual fight to complete Wayward Spirit. Now there is a lot of tactics to this one, just like the other ones too. And um, what you need to do is you need to get the boy obviously to go over and read the scripture first and when you read the scripture you want to stand exactly where I'm standing right next to where the chain is but facing away from the boy looking this way because the first spawn will come exactly here now you want to get rid of this guy as quick as possible if you hit him straight away with an R1 as you can see he flies forward now you cannot do that again you can never knock him away again as much so make sure you get that first R1 in very very fast then spam R1 until he's dead you will have two behind you if you do this fast enough you turn around and there they are so if you do that quick enough, you'll be fine. And you, now you'll realize you have that ice on your axe again. This ice on your axe helps a lot because you do a lot more damage and you hit them a lot further like that. You won't get that hit animation unless you have the ice on your axe. So please just continue hitting these guys as much as possible. Keep an eye on your back like that if someone's going to attack you. Um, and also use the boy's arrows as always for that extra damage. You may not realize it, but those boy's arrows are absolutely incredible. If you stop using them, you'll realize that the damage that you do is so much lower than it could be. Like it's just it's just that added bonus, basically, that you get for nothing. Okay, there's our, there are two more spawns right now. You want to be hitting this guy back towards that chest so those two spawns aren't anywhere near you. As soon as you kill the second one, those two spawns come. Now, you want to put your axe away because these guys are not affected by the axe. They are the question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Blue guys, no idea their real names. Um, they basically are zombies. Uh, we saw before that they are transformed from humans because we had it earlier in the storyline and you just want to beat the crap out of them with the shield using R1, R1, R1 and then as soon as they go to attack you hit that L1 button to uh, do the shield bash. You want to get those shield bashes in because they will be trying to transform into level 4s as well and the shield bash of course uh, interrupts that move so those shield bashes here are very important to hit. So yeah, I, you want to pin them against the corner like this too. It's the best way to deal with them at this point. Like he's trying to transform. Luckily, I had that R1 hit. Um, if you see them transforming uh, at this point, yeah, just try to get to the end of your combo. Um, do a heavy, do a kick if you think you have time, but it's very difficult to get it out. But there you go, there you have it. There is that fight. There's actually only five enemies. They're just very difficult um, if you get overwhelmed there. Uh, the first three you need to deal with fast, and then the, the other two, when they come over, if you still have the axe and you're trying to fight them, and you're trying to hit them at the same time, uh, it can become very difficult because you're going to be bouncing off the question mark, question mark blue ones while you're trying to hit the other one. Okay, so you talk to this spirit here. Uh, we know exactly where this island is, and that's exactly how you do the fight. So everything is done here. Thank you very much for watching. If you're doing these fights and you are still continuing through the game, well done, congratulations. It is so damn difficult. Difficult, and I know it is because I'm there with you guys. I'm dying over and over again to make these videos for you. Um, of course, I've got one more of these coming up very soon. And the next fight is a good one. So make sure you tune in to watch that. Thank you very much for watching. SMCP out.